Hello! Welcome to more Space Engineers. I installed the 10 times faster mod for assemblers. As you can see, it makes a little bit of a difference on construction components. They're still horrendously slow. I've uh, moved a majority of things over, and if you may notice, another business shipment came in as I was bringing that one in. So it was just like, okay. Like, you just overflow me with business shipments here. Uh, right now, I'm pumping out all the components for uh, conveyors, of which I have not yet placed. That's cargo container, also cargo container. Uh, crap. I need interior plates to get that started. Excuse me, if you could do the interior plates. It's all a bit slow-ish still. I don't know. Now I'm pretty sure... I could be wrong. Maybe that's only conveyors for small ships, that would make sense. I had seen conveyors with small tube ports, and I just didn't want one. Because that would actually screw things up, but I think that might be... Yeah. Yeah, see there, the, the small tube ports? So yeah, that's only a small ship, so I don't have to worry about that. What I do have to worry about is my complete lack of finished components. However, the grinder array should be getting pretty close to being ready. I mean, I'm going to need to run tubes over into the large cargo container, but that's... How many tubes do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I need over oh, the tubes. Two of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. Might as well get those going while I'm at it. You need to angle down. You need to angle this way. Oh crap. Uh can't do anything with that at the moment. Okay, they have the exact same components, so that's fine. Nothing to worry about there, thankfully. Oh, well, apparently I'm shedding some light on the situation. I wish to get the grinder array going. Everything I need to weld the grinder array should be in here. Uh, I'm going to need to put the welder on the bar. Look at that glorious welding.
Okay. This is why I decided to go with the welding ship, because this would take forever by hand. Trust me. I've already done it once. In a world, the other worlds. One of those worlds I just spent a lot of time continuously blowing up ships, trying to come up with a design that would work to attack one of the, uh, the military ships. Speaking of ships and designs and military ships, I think of what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that ship, the one that I wanted to, the, how should I say, vanilla design to try and attack these. And then, if that works, like if I manage to make that successfully work, then what I'm going to do is then I'll move on to mods improve the design, but at the same time, I'll install, like, some super hard NPC ships and ship, like, groupings, because there's, like, things with massive amounts of attack squadrons that you can also get, and I'll install those. So, I'll increase the difficulty of raiding ships a little bit at the same time while also increasing how worthwhile it is, if that makes any sense. grinded myself. I have been grinded. Or welded, not grinded. Uh, I need seven construction components. That seems awfully weirdly specific. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, those are connected. That's ready to run, I think. So, oh, I see. Those things are new things added. Gotcha. All assemblers to disassembly. Use the conveyor system, please. So, I believe we are ready to start grinding down our first ship. Oh, look, my dead body. Uh, there's only one thing I need to adjust. These do not fit very well. And what I mean by that is that uh, I'll end up losing, like, the thrusters and the outer solar is off into nothingness, which I guess with three business shipments I can afford to, but... Eh, you know what? I'm not gonna move them. Whatever I lose, I lose. I don't even care. Oh, right, I took the cockpit out of this one. Crap. Excuse me. Uh, I would like Assembler 1. I would like Assembler 1 to stop what it's doing. I would like 2 through 4 to stop using the, uh... The things. And I would like Assembler 1 to craft me a control station.
gonna take a few seconds, I guess. I can at least try and make it so I'll get this luster because the modifications don't take long. And that right there is pretty much all the modifications I need to make in order to get most of the components, because that one's already already doesn't have the solars. Okay, and everybody can go ahead and use the conveyor system again. Uh, control station. It doesn't even really matter where I put this, to be honest. Uh, at this point, I just need to be able to pilot the ship. So I'm just going to throw it in the first spot I can actually grab, and then... I'm not even going to finish welding it out, to be honest. As you can tell, it's not going to completely fit, but all I really want to do is get the core of it getting grinded, and then that'll be good enough for me. Okay, so, down here in the control station for the platform, I have made a group called the Grinder Array, and I'm going to set it to 1. This is going to start using power at a, eh, not a whole lot of a rate, but a decent rate. Can you hear the glory of the grinders? Do you want to see the glory of the grinders? Check this out. Dampeners off. 0.4 meters per second. It's absolutely glorious. There's going to be blocks that are going to end up kind of wandering off that I might have to deal with myself. Uh, looks like I'm getting most of the components. I'm losing stuff, some stuff off to the side, but... I mean, I can deal with losing some ramps. But this is what I was talking about with, like, removing the outer solars and removing the thrusters. If I remove the two, uh, I could probably angle it and stop that from being such a big issue. And that, my friends, is one disintegrated ship. Shall we move on to another? How about I crack open one of the uh, cargo containers on this guy? And use him to place stuff inside, since... I've already outlined the fact that... The con contents of the containers will be preserved. In order to get like a perfect flight into it, obviously it takes a little bit of work, but you know what? Watching an entire ship get disintegrated is just a glorious spectacle that is worth the dime. Which is also the big reason why I am moving these. Because, well first of all, they're important for it to go forwards, and I'd rather not 
lose them if I could avoid it, because there's really no reason to lose something if I don't have to. That said, oh. Empty out some of my inventory doing that. Stuff in. There's more. I was 99% sure that the solar panel was a defunct one, and that is why I chose to do what I did there. Okay, now, was this one? Yeah. Put all those in there. Now it's time to make our way inside. Bum, 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 bum. Off to Imperial March. My brain was having issues processing the word. Whoa. Okay, thruster lighting issues. See that? I think that's as centered as I'm gonna get, maybe. Okay. Point four. Time to escape. This is an experience that never gets old. Don't just steal the ships, break them down. Make their existence disappear from the universe. Hmm. Whoops. Uh, whatever. That's all I have to say that one. Buddy! No! Give me your steel plates. There's a uh, one ship, I think it's called the Mining Carriage. It's just, it's perfect. Like the way it's designed, I can literally just fly it, break it over, and fly it straight into this with zero modifications. And it's just a beautiful sight. Excuse me, but, uh,. Borrow your time, Thruster. Okay. Uh... So this, these blocks were literally just outside the range, so I have to tear those down, otherwise they're gonna make a mess. I did before with a cargo container. 
Here you go, cargo container. Have all this crap. So after this is done, I should have just a ton of resources to work with. <clears throat> I apologize, but my throat is getting really scratchy. Squeeze me. But, uh, I believe this ship has a date with Destiny. Screwed that up, no breaks. Well, I'm just gonna have to hope that uh, this is close enough. No, uh, well, maybe. Wow. Oh, a mining hauler. Which one's higher tier, the hauler or the uh, carriage? You know what? Let's go get murdered. I could probably open up Steam right now. I bet that the Steam overlay. Yeah, the steam overlay doesn't show up for you guys, so I can actually check that real quick while I'm flying. Do 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 do. Space engineers. Wiki. Ships. Hauler is tier three, and it has two missile turrets. Oh, fuck me. That That's all I have to say for that one. Oh, fuck me. Well, this is going to be... painful. I could back out now. I could not die. But to hell with it. Thanks, world. Such a good time to save. Right before I violently murder myself on a ship. I don't know where the guns are on this. I don't know anything about this ship. I'm about to just get absolutely destroyed. Uh, I passed it. It's yellow. I know what color it is. I didn't have to die to know it was yellow. So, let's have a little look-see in here. This assembler is full, this assembler is full, this assembler is full, and this assembler is full. And then the cargo container is filled with thousands of crap. Look at this. 464 power cells, 120 radio communications equipment. Oh, there's uranium in here. It's moving slowly, let's just move it off. 
I'm up to 113 uranium in my reactor. Which gives me a ton of time. I should go turn off the uh, grinder array since I don't need it to save power. With all of my assemblers running at full operation doing a disassembly, I still have two days worth of power. I should probably make a mining ship at some point, so I can go build my little base over there. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to move everything I have unless, like, well, no, because it won't take up much space once it's broken down, believe it or not. Like, even, like, this is just barely enough to fill my inventory after all of that. I mean, I could load all of this into a ship in a few loads as it currently stands. But whatever I make for a mining ship is going to take a lot of resources. And even then, it's not even mostly for mining. It's, mining is going to be a, you know, like sub-operation of what happens out of it. The real goal is going to be to hollow out a hole over there. <sighs> Stupid mining hauler. I guess there's not a whole lot to do at the moment. I do want to work on this guy, but you've seen me, like, do some welding and stuff, so I'm going to get the front together, and then I'll save the rest of it for, like, so I can show off, you know, how I came about this decision, you know, what I did to think this was a good idea, and, you know, stuff like that. But that is going to wait until next time. For now, I'm going to consider this good. Hopefully I'll have enough steel plates to make this. I'll be able to load them into my welder and I'll be able to get all that done and whatnot ready next time. So, I'm going to call this good for now. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.